Hi guys, this is Ralva from SG Finance Matters. Interpretation of charts varies between investors. Everyone have their unique way of reading the market. Use only information that works best for you. And all information shared here are meant only for references and it does not constitute to any financial advisors. For today, we will be sharing with you about this support and resistance line. How do you read, how do you draw and how investors make decisions using the support and resistance line. What is support and resistance? To put it simply, it is the movement of the price within a range. The upper and the lower range. For upper range, it is known as the resistance line. This is the point where the price meets its resistance and having challenges in its breakthrough. For the lower range, it is also known as the support line. And that can also be understood as the point to prevent the price from dipping even further. After knowing support and resistance, so the next thing we need to learn is how to draw a support and resistance line. Well, it is all about finding the common high and the low points. And I will suggest you to form the line using at least three points. Of course, if there are more than three common points, it will definitely help in ascertaining the accuracy of the line that you are going to draw. So over here, you will get the A1, A2, A3, a nicely formed support line. And just below, you will get B1, B2, B3, and all the way to B6, a sui sui resistance line. Because there are more resistance points, it is likely to suggest a strong resistance over here. There we go, we have two nicely drawn support and the resistance line. Now we have identified the range, the upper and the lower range. Investors typically, they will take their positions within the range itself. I need to say if you're in the lower range, you will take your position and exit the market when the price reach is resistance line. I need to say you will buy into the market at the support line and exit the market at the resistance line. Well guys, there are no strategy in the market that is 100% sure win. It is important to exercise discretion when you are making your investment decision. With that, that's it for today's video. If you have learned something from today's video, please help me like, follow and share. My name is Welver, signing off.